Let's try to subtract 9.57 minus 8.09. So try to pause this video and, and figure this out first before we work through it together. All right, well, let's just rewrite it. Let's rewrite it. And when I rewrite it, I like to line up the decimals. This one is a little intuitive. We have 8.09, just like that. And now we're ready to subtract. And we want to subtract 9 hundredths from 7 hundredths. Well, we don't have enough hundredths up here, so let's move over here. Let's see if we can do some regrouping so we always have a higher number on top. So over here, we want to subtract 0, zero tenths from 5 tenths. So we have enough tenths over here. So let's regroup. So instead of 5 tenths, I'm going to have 4 tenths. And then I'm going to give that other tenth, which is the same thing as 10 hundredths over here. So this becomes 17 hundredths. 17 minus 9 is 8. 4 minus 0 is 4. And then I have 9 minus 8 is 1. So this is going to be 1.48.